The Creative Arts program at Berkeley Carroll has been around for over 30 years um, and it allows students to take all different kinds of courses from digital arts to dance to music to theater to sports um, and they get to individualize their schedule. It's open to rising third through ninth grade. It's really designed to give people a lot of different options and to sort of choose their own experience to a certain extent. CAP runs for five weeks so that students can really delve deeply into the things that they're doing and accumulate skills over the time that they're here. Every kid gets to pick their own schedule and follow their own passions. Um, and the courses change a little bit every year, um, but we have, offer about 70 courses. So we always encourage kids in picking their classes to pick some things you're really comfortable with and want to explore more deeply and some things that are brand new so that you can try something new and maybe find something else you're really excited about. The faculty at CAP come from a lot of different backgrounds. Uh, many of them are teachers during the school year. Some of them are working artists. We're also really lucky to have a great team of counselors in training, and most of those are people who have gone through the program as students and who wanted to continue being involved. The faculty have a lot of discretion in terms of what courses they offer, but we know from one year to the next what things tend to be popular, what classes were really successful with students. I really want teachers to be able to explore their passions because when a teacher is passionate about what they do and are excited to share their expertise with the students, those are always the best classes. And when we have these really unique ways of looking at the world, it, it gives students the opportunity to break open their assumptions about themselves. So when they come here, they may think that they are only a photographer. But when they get here, they realize that that can mean lots of different things. That means you can also be an actor, you can also be an athlete, you can also be a musician when you have those skills. And we have classes that bridge the gaps between the genre so that students can sort of expand their passions and, and find something new that they can practice. The program really emphasizes not only creating works of art, but also learning how to share your work. Um, and that manifests itself in noontime performances that we do every day where students have a chance to showcase what they're doing in class. But it also culminates in a big performance day on the second to last day of the program, which we call Festival Day. And that's where friends and family and relatives can come and see what their children have been working on and see final performances, exhibits of artwork. The theater is full all day with dance concerts and our musical theater performances. We close our day with a huge uh, rock band celebration in the gym. Um, and it allows every kid to show what they've learned and show how much they've grown from the beginning. And it allows them to really shine in that last day when we get to share with everyone. We are a place where kids can be exactly who they are, as quirky and as funny and as musical and as interesting as they want to be, um, they can be that here at CAP. Um, I often hear from families that their kids wish they could be here all year, that they wish that school could be more like CAP, where you get to explore new things and um, follow your passions and have fun all day and try things. Something that's really unique and special about CAP is our community. I think that we have a really beautiful community of people that support each other. We want everyone to feel at the end of five weeks that they're part of the CAP community and that's something that will stay with them throughout the year and for many years to come.